Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss how to do the simulation that simulates the flow around a circular cylinder based on open form from the scratch. You can build your own simulation like this and observe the Kármán vortex street based on the simulation. Remember to subscribe our channel if you like related contents about scientific simulation and visualization. We briefly describe the workflow. We first use the GMesh to create the mesh file describing both mesh st structure and physical properties. Next, we use OpenFlow to load the mesh file generated by the GMesh. After that, we create OpenFlow case and edit the boundary conditions and associated configurations. Then we use corresponding OpenFlow solver to generate the simulation data. Finally, we observe the data and do visualization and analysis based on pair view. We will adjust the GMesh file and open form configurations and repeat this workflow until achieving desired simulation results. Okay, let's see how to use the GMesh to create a mesh file we want. And we open the GMesh and add several points here. And by adding these points, we can create a rectangle in 2D uh, surface and uh, after adding the four points we add several points in the center of this rectangle those points can be used to create a circle and you can see that we use this uh, oh we first add line and create a circle and then uh, create a rectangle and then use this a circle arc to create a circle in the center. Then we can use the uh, boundary selection to select the boundary and the hole. After doing this, we can click the mesh 1D and mesh 2D. We can say there is only mesh in the surface that's selected. Another important, oh uh, yeah, we can use a size at point to adjust the uh, density of ma density of mesh and come and generate refined mesh in this surface. Another important operation is extrude. We can use uh, we can extend the 2D surface into a three-dimensional volume and open form can only process a three-dimensional data, so we uh, need to do this operation. Uh, after doing this, we can click the mesh 1D and mesh 3D. We can say there is a whole mesh in the this volume. This is the mesh structure we need to load into the open form for further processing. We can check the current GMesh file. And after that, we need to add the physical properties, which represent the particular boundaries for put at the particular position, such as the left wall, right wall, and the top wall and bottom wall. And the important part is the uh, uh, area around that uh, circular. Yeah, we just need to type the keyword and select the particular surface. Yeah, this is adding the uh, circular wall. After that, we can use the visibility to check the particular surface we selected. We can always check the contents by click clicking that edit script if everything works we can then export this gmesh file into the msh file uh, we need it and we can then use the open form command to convert the corresponding file into the mesh description which is recognized by the open form here i send it to the virtual machine and then create use create a particular mesh you can see that we create cl create the poly mesh and there are different uh, walls here those are those match with the property we added. 
if we just type the ICO form directly, we can see there are some error information since we need to copy specific configuration file into the current case. For example, the uh, there is a folder which contains uh, important parameters such as uh, P and uh, uh, U. We copy another. We copy the folder from another case, and we can see there is a zero uh, folder and P and U. The important thing is to adjust those uh, boundary conditions and make it match with the uh, case in our form. In, in our case here, if we look at the uh, poly mesh and boundary, we can see there are uh, front, back, and bottom, etc. And uh, we need to kind of update those configurations, and this is the final results. We just uh, cite the empty and uh, wall and a patch property type for different walls. There are lots of online resources about the details for this type. We do not dive into details here, but this is the one that can work. And please be careful here about those uh, configurations for boundaries. And then we recite the properties for P and U. For the uh, first, we make the uh, adjust the name and make it match with the boundary we shown just now. We then we uh, check everything. For example, here the name is up in our example. Then we set the uh, properties for U. Similarly to correct the name and make sure the value is correct. When simulator can generate data and we can download those data into our local platform and use the pair view to do the post-processing. Here we create a dummy.form file. If we just uh, uh, load this file, we can o use the pair view to open it directly. You can see here I just uh, load the uh, dummy dot form and it can uh, recognize this uh, open form data structure and we can get uh, the data set we want and here this is the results but we want we may want more time steps here we only sh we, uh, simulate the time for five seconds and so we might go to the configuration file and set the end time for this example, we set it 10 and change the delta t to make it a little bit larger. So the uh, results, we can get uh, more results here. And we start the simulation again and to test the results to say if it, if it is what we want. And for example, here we want more uh, and we can reset it to 20 seconds and similarly get the results and load the data and start to analyze it to check the results. We can check the information of the uh, mesh structure and the variables uh, and in internal mesh. We can use different uh, functionalities of Paraview to do that. If we start, the start to play the movie and we can see the flow is really uh, stand at first and then it become unsteady and we can get this Carmen vortex street. So if we want to do more post processing such as a stream tracer, we can use this uh, a fun a filter provided by Paraview to do that. For example, here we cite a point cloud and put seeds in that uh, specific region and we can see uh, the uh, obvious vortex. Uh, within the simulation progression and hope this video can provide some useful information for you and see you next time